Hi guys, Jason here and welcome back to another FIFA 17 video on my channel and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you the fourth episode of my FIFA 17 scaling road to glory. So in this episode we're going to be doing some SBCs and playing some matches. So to start off there we do one SBC, we get this untradeable pack here and with the players we get in this pack it enables us to do the next SBC as well. So all of the players I actually do use in these SBCs are untradeable as well and it is only the very simple basic ones at the moment because I don't have like a lot of players in my club to complete the more advanced ones. So starting off there we go and um, submit those players there, we get a bronze pack here again, I think it was actually an all player bronze pack so we go and get that um, bronze centre back there and we get a lot of English players what are very helpful for the next SBC we do go and do so after completing that one we go and complete the third and final one and it's the multi-league one there as you can see again all the players untradeable and for this one we do actually get a silver pack and a premium loan players pack so after doing that one we do go and open our packs in the store so from the loan players pack we do go and get ourselves Anthony Modest the French striker don't really think I'm going to use him that much, but still, I just send him to my club just in case. And then in the silver pack, we do go and open it, and we don't actually get a rare. We get this guy there, but he does actually have four-star skill moves. But again, I don't think I'm going to really use him. And then we get um, a player there from the Pro League as well, and we actually make that stadium. We go and pack active. So after doing this guys, I decide to go into our first match of the episode. Of course, as you saw in the previous episode, we made this new team. So this was the first match with a new team. So we go against this guy here. He has the Chelsea badge. We go with our uh, Unam kit again. It's one of my favourite kits on this game. And it's very lucky that we packed it early on. So this guy actually has a really weird team. He has a full BPL team. And then he just has that one championship centre back. And in this match, um, we start off really well here with Carrillo. Doing some really nice skill moves there. Go and take the shot, but luckily for him, his defender is there to stop me taking the shot. So after this chance, guys, we get a chance here with Yannick Balassi. Nice ball there from Kiato. We go to do a running waka waka, and his defender decides to foul, a, foul us inside the box. So as you can see, of course, we do going to let ourselves a penalty, and we go and take the penalty with the main man, Sergio Aguero. And he decides to kick it left, his goalie stays in the middle and we are 1-0 up in this match. So there we go, there's a replay of the goal. Very nice across body penalty. And as you can see, when we scored that penalty, the guy did decide to go and rage quit. So again, Aguero with a 7.6 match rating. I think he would have got man of the match if we would have been able to play the full match. I think Aguero's actually got man of the match in most of the matches we've played so far. So as you can see there, we're still unbeaten. Three wins out of three in Division 9. So we carry on now into the next match. Um, this was actually the first match in a while. I actually had a green latency because most of the matches at the moment, because the servers are really bad, as I already said, due to the St. Patrick's Day hype, are, um, you know, not the best. So after we come against this amazing team, he has Inform Lukaku, that 89 rated Inform Mertens, Kevin De Bruyne, Nain Golan, Adam Lalana, Eric Bailey, and a few very good players as well, such as De Gea and Smalling. So yeah, now getting into this match, we start off really bad. Straight from kickoff, we try and go on an attack. He wins the ball back, gets it here, plays it through to Mertens, who uses his pace, runs between our two centre backs, and then finishes it past our goalie Howard into the bottom left corner. So it's not the best start, but luckily for us, we get straight back into the game here with Aguero. Do a nice spin. He manages to outstrength Bailey there, and then he manages to finesse it into the bottom corner, and we make it 1-1. And this was actually a very even match. Um, as you can see here, the next chance was actually in the 40-something minute. And we go and score it then with Aguero. Aguero is just the standout player in this team. And he just buries it nicely into the bottom corner. So after this, I actually get a free kick there for an offside. And for some reason, I was aiming for my right back. But he played it into one of my midfielders. And then from this, our opponent counters our mistake. And goes and scores with his inform Lukaku. And then in the 90th minute here, we get a free kick. I decide to shoot because it was our only option. And I smash it and it hits off the crossbar. So we do go and get our first draw of this series. And again, there we go. Aguero getting man of the match. We get 450 coins. It's not really a big setback. It was a pretty even match. This guy had a lot of shots, to be honest. Um, but I couldn't fit them all in the video. And then, yeah. So, but overall, I'd say it's a pretty even match. So after that, guys, as you can see, we don't get a win. So we're instead, we're on 10 points. And we only need that one more win now to get promoted into Division 8. 
So after this, as you can see, Koyate did get injured and he was out for one match. And in the same match as well, Balassi did go and get himself injured. So what I decided to do, I decided to switch to our fitness team. Now, I actually want to make it a better fitness team uh, very soon. This is just, you know, a standby one. So, um... So, um, yeah, after that, I go and challenge the team of the week. Because if you don't know, if you challenge the team of the week, depending on what difficulty you do, you get extra match coins. So, yeah, anyway, we got the injuries off our players. And we got extra match coins, and that's going to be very helpful. And again, I, you know, just go 5 nil up and then just put my controller down. And I actually, actually, yeah, I have to do it one more time because I think Balassi's injury was for two match instead of one. So, anyway, guys, I'm just like cut it out, of course. Because it's just offline gameplay, it's not going to be very interesting to watch. So again, we go 5-0 up in that match. And then when I put my controller down, the AI must have scored. So after that, as you can see, there is a lot of gameplay in this episode. We go straight back into Division eight, uh, Division 9, sorry, um, hoping to get that promotion we needed. So eventually we did manage to find an opponent. And he actually took a while to search. But in the end, we find our opponent here. And then we go into the kit menu, and uh, there's my away kit, but I actually do want to change it. So if there's a kit you want me to buy as my away kit, tell me in the comment section below, and I will try and buy it. So now getting into this guy's team, he has the upgraded 86 Abamyang on loan at Striker. So now getting into this game, we do uh, we start off re very well here with Aguero. Take a really nice long shot there, and it goes perfectly into the corner. As you can see, we did a nice Berber spin before that as well. Then just smash it across goal with Aguero's 88 shooting. So great start to the match. Then after this, our opponent gets a chance here. Runs through with Abamyang, showing off his pace there. Takes a shot, and again, he scores a rebound. And most of the goals I've actually conceded in this series so far are from rebounds. It's either rebounds, corners, or just really lucky goals in general. Um, I'm actually all right at defending. Um, so yeah. But anyway, after this chance there. We go and do some decent skills there with Carrillo. We go and take the shot there. Decent save from his goalkeeper. And then the main man there, again, Aguero, to get the rebound. And we are 2-1 up in this match. Then later on in the match here, we do some really nice skill moves with Aguero, um, Carrillo. Do a nice running waka waka there. Run into the pot box. We go for a ball roll. And then we get a penalty. And of course, we go and take it with Aguero. And he goes and finishes it off. And we are 3-1 up in this match. Then from a corner here, our um, opponent gets a, uh, another goal. So now it's 3-2. And then just to be sure, um, I just decided to score. So we get that um, cushioned two-goal advantage. And again, it's Aguero scoring the goal. And that is his hat-trick. So late on in the match, this is why I wanted to score that goal. Our opponent goes and gets a goal there to make it 4-3. But luckily for us, we managed to hold on for the win. And again, Aguero getting mad of the match. I feel like I've said that so many times in this video. Aguero is just so good. I've never actually used him before this. Um, because, you know, it's just not a player who really interested me. But he's actually very good. And I might actually get him on my main account. Or maybe do a review of one of his cards. So if you do want to see that as well, tell me in the comments section below. So after this, guys, I did decide to go and sell Masawake and Koyate. And I decided to go and upgrade the two players I was going to get. And the players I got were... Um, I think it was, yeah, it was Pereira or Pereira and Zuniga. And the reason I got Zuniga was because he has four star skill moves and he is a left back. So, you know, the more skill moves we've got on the team, the better. So, it cost us 2,800 coins. So, it's pretty expensive for a left back. And then we go and get Pereira there, who is actually one of my favourite midfielders this year. Even though he's only got 66 shooting in game, it feels much better. So, as you can see as well, Aguero is injured. But anyway guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you haven't enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and bye.